they say third time's a charm and no more no more is that clear than it at the 2010 team america rocketry challenge tell us what happened today in regards to getting your vehicle aloft um, well, today we had uh, two misfires uh, with our motor, and um, that was due to a miscommunication uh, in how the motor was built. And when we pulled it apart to fix it, we found uh, another problem, and we fixed it, and then it flew great after that. But you guys came down to just a few minutes left before you were basically out of the competition. Yeah, I guess it was up to luck. <laughs> so what do you what do you do when the time and the pressure is running out both at the same time? Um, you stay focused and try and get it done, make sure you don't make mistakes, and just hope that you can do it. Why rockets? Um, I think it's just they're fun. They plainly are fun, and they're, they're really cool to shoot off. And, you know, it's, it's fun figuring out all the different little intricate parts of rockets. How was this team formed at your school? We sent out an announcement at the first you know, couple weeks of school that was like, you know, we're putting together the rocket team, we're participating in this competition, you know, and then people came and we split up the teams. We had so many people, we had to have four teams this year. All four teams qualified for nationals and we just kind of, we split it up. We put, you know, some freshmen, some sophomores, some juniors, some seniors in every team just so that we had like, you know, some of the senior members teaching some of the junior members and so like stuff like that. Here's the ultimate question in something like this. I'll ask each of you in a row here, but... What do your parents think of all this? <laughs> My dad's actually here today. He came with me. Uh, he's really proud of me. He's uh, he does you know some like computer science stuff, and so like me getting out here and doing rocket stuff, he's really happy for. Uh, my parents love this. I mean, this is the only thing they want me to do. So <laughs> I'm kind of being pushed into it, whether I want it or not. But I want it. <laughs> <laughs> do any of you see yourselves in the years hence actually flying on board a rocket-powered vehicle? I would love it if I could. Like that's that's probably been like one of my fantasies for the longest time was going on like an actual space shuttle and flying. But I don't think I could actually do it. I feel like I can see myself there. It's just I don't know what's in the middle of me and that. So um, I'm hoping that I will be one day. What advice do you have to those in uh, in your generation right now might look at this and go, "Boy, next year I got to be there." Just, you know, talk to a couple of teachers, get them involved. I mean, this is really cool. It's a big opportunity. And it's a lot of, like, hands-on experience with science stuff. So, like, if you want to do it, talk to people, get people involved, because you're not the only one that wants to do it. Well, congratulations to each of you. I really, uh, to coin a phrase here, we're uh, particularly enthused by your perseverance, your stick to itiveness, and the fact that third time is a charm. Good to all of you. Thank you. Thank you Aero TV is brought to you by. If you own a Cirrus today or if you are considering the purchase of a new or used aircraft, consider this. Avidyne, in conjunction with the country's leading Cirrus sales and maintenance facilities, has launched the G3R9 program that combines the purchase of a late model, low time Cirrus aircraft and the addition of the Avidyne Integra Release 9 avionics suite for much less than you may have thought, and certainly much less than purchasing a brand new aircraft. G3R9, providing the best airframe, best engine, and best avionics for the best value.